Marking two years since taking office, President Moon Jae-in held a live TV interview with a local broadcaster moments ago. From North Korea to local politics, he looked back on his administration's successes and shortfalls thus far. Topping the discussions was, of course, North Korea's surprise firing of projectiles. We start things off with Shin Zemin standing by on the line. Zemin. Right, Daniel, the president's first TV interview with the local media came to a close just moments ago and a lot to digest. First, as you have mentioned, today's firing of an unidentified projectiles by North Korea topped the discussions tonight. And about those projectiles, the president did say that it is premature to conclude that Pyongyang had violated UN Security Council resolutions, which prohibits the regime from using ballistic missile technology. And about the projectiles fired today, he did say that both Seoul and Washington believe the North had fired short-range missiles. And despite two consecutive instances of what appears to be provocative actions from the North all happening in such a short period of time, President Moon says he still sees such actions as a way of the regime expressing its discontent over the outcome of the Hanoi summit in February. <laughs> Korona but the president also said that he wants to warn the North that the nuclear talks may be in jeopardy if such action continues. And as for another sit down with North Korea's Kim Jong un, the president said, now is the time. Listen to this. Well, so I mean, it sounds like we may have to prepare ourselves for another diplomatically charged months ahead. He did say that he is willing to pursue with food aid to the north. Yes, he did indeed. And he, President Boon dangled the idea of sending rice to the north, saying there is a huge amount of rice in stock here in the south. And to do that, he said he hopes to hold a dialogue with rival political party leaders to discuss Seoul's humanitarian move. And this coming at a time when political parties at the parliament are locking horns over whether or not to process the, the reform bills. So it does seem like the president's plan may hit some hard wall. But he did also say that he hopes to hit such humanitarian support to the north will also work as a way of putting a speed to an impasse on the nuclear discussions. And apart from the North Korea-related issues, the president also pressed upon some of the pending issues, including the economy, the local politics, and more. Daniel? Our China correspondent, Shin Zemin, thanks for being out there for us. We appreciate it.